We got a problem this morning. The word on the creek is not only did our pasture posse get out of their fence yesterday, they didn't come home. Jonah said they were not up when he went to put them up. Guys, where's the, uh, that chick, that net you guys had? That worked awesome. We might have to catch chickens. I kind of want to go see, let's just go see, Josiah, let's just go see if they are near the coop. It's very possible that Jonah went up too early and they just weren't up. So I kind of want to see if they're hanging around the coop. They would have already been out, but are they near the coop telling me that, hey, maybe they're coming from the coop this morning? I can't see this thing was left out. That's much better. While we wait on them, I do wonder, I'm looking up there at Lucky Air Tractor, the latest date was June 4th, like this Friday, for a Kubota tractor. There's y'all's foot. Sometimes y'all's foot comes off. There. I'm getting a diesel utility, utility vehicle from there. Crazy. That's going to be an exciting day. Besides turning our charger off, I don't see anybody up there. I don't see anybody out and about. Been off the whole time. That could be part of our problem. Uh, Amy and Arun said they were down in their garden yesterday. Yep. That's a long way from that coop. That's That coop's way up there. Amy and Arun's garden is way down there. Okay, there's our chickens. I see feathers. I hope our goose didn't get got. There's goose feathers. Chickens feathers everywhere. Did they even go to their coop yesterday at all? They did. They were out at their coop. We moved them. Why didn't they go up last night? We moved them. We have to go find the net and catch what we do have left because everybody's getting got. The chickens were going out this fall. Gonna call. They're not laying a lot of eggs. This is what's bothering me. Look how well they were spreading this manure. They're going behind the cows. Look, this manure pie, this manure pie, this manure pie. I really want this to work. So they're valuable even if they're not laying eggs. Even they're, they're going to be replaced by the fat chicks. But if we can't keep them in, which two, two of those three are not fat hens. But if we can't keep them in, we can't protect them. And they're not going to be on the manure job. We've got them into these bushes. Jonah, you be on that side with the net. I'll be on this side. Stay right there. I caught one after running around like a mad person in these woods. Finally got against the woven wire. You got one? And caught it. There's two left, as you can see from Remaining feathers last night. They're not gonna do good out on their own. They're not gonna last very long. That chicken's gone. All right, let's go. I actually heard what might have been a goose. It could have been a chicken up top. Let's see if our chickens came back out. I don't really want that goose. Sure, we can order another gosling, but it takes a while to grow up, all that. There is a chance it's gone over here by the by uh, the other goose at the sea monsters. Nope, that must have just been Rosie I was hearing. Thank God it's not Rosie. Yeah, that was just Rosie. Go ahead and mark her, because we'll, we'll try to put the other ones out. But we'll have to do that tonight. So let's mark so we don't grab her, because we know she ain't gonna stay in the fence. We're cutting off the ex extra. Plastic. <laughs> All right, 30 minutes till milking time. I got a decision to make. Plant beans for the beautiful one or get this drip irrigation going. I do not know how to run drip irrigation. They did come with instructions. The problem is, uh, step number one, lay out your header pipe. I don't know what the header pipe is. I think this is it, but I don't know how to lay it out. <laughs> do I lay it along the garden? Do I lay it horizontal across the garden? This is probably our drip. I've never used any of this before. 
I have a much better idea how to plant beans. That might be a good workout because I have to shovel the mulch out of the way. I I, it does have a website with photos. So that's more conducive to looking at while the weather's not cool, like while it's hot. Go and look and learn something. I'll tell you what I will do though, guys. Once I learn it, I'll, I'll make a video about it and put it in Abundance Plus. How about that? Make it a lot easier for you guys. I came up to talk to Rebecca on the phone. She's on the phone to see how much beans she needed. Well, I looked it up in the, in the New Organic Grower, Ehrlich Coleman, how to space beans. And he said you could start beans in soil blocks. So that changes everything. <laughs> Come on. You got Jonah? Lily's on her, getting about to be on her online tutoring. Hey, you guys coming? Okay, there they all are. Come on, guys. Hey, Nerf guns at a time. No. Nerf guns are supposed to be at a specific time. Since it's spring, going on summer, we're going to use the greenhouse, but it actually needs to not be warm. Oh, I did seal that back up. Shoot. All right. We've got to get these knobs out. And then that's all there is to it. I don't have to show you this. It's completely empty. I don't have to show you all this mess. So why do I show you? I don't know. Because the struggle's real. Because that's the obstacle of my goal. I want to roll up the greenhouse. I want to start bean seeds. Let's do it. What? Uh, but I can't find the proper drill bits. Are they in this? Papa, yes. can you make me yeah. apples and cheese right now? Oh yes, when we go inside, are they in? Jonah, we need the one that will take off the hex head. The you know what I'm talking about? Very tiny there eyes. it is. I like very tiny Look. And let's run and put this right back when we're done. Is that one working? Yeah. Got an extra battery there. I like your coming shirt. It says <laughs> coming. That's our generator and they sent us those shirts. Thank you very much, Cummins. Isn't it actually? Hey, we, we coming, Jonah? Yeah. I saw a dude with a truck driving by yesterday. Big old Cummins sticker on the back of his truck. You know, I guess I, I guess it's a thing. What? It's part of a it's part of a culture, and I guess that's what happens a hundred years of making awesome engines. Big truck came yesterday with a big sticker on the back. Yeah, did you see it? No. It had that logo on there. No. I mean, how do you how do you accomplish that as a brand? How do you how do you become Part of the culture. Maybe one day I can do that with Abundance Plus. I don't know. Yeah, hopefully it won't take a hundred years <laughs> to see the Abundance Plus sticker on the back of a, you know, kind of person. A, you know, it's a big truck, a big loud truck, jacked up. You know what I'm talking about? What would be a typical homesteader vehicle? I'm, I'm telling you, I wouldn't be shocked if it was like a minivan. <laughs> I know. We've, we homesteaded know. with a minivan for so long. You remember that? Yeah, I do. I think a homestead vehicle is probably a SUV or a, maybe even a Suburban. It's maybe the typical. Uh, maybe it's, a truck. I don't think it's a truck. I don't know if it's a truck because we all got a bunch of kids. <laughs> uh, and at this level, you don't really need a truck. I don't. We don't even have a truck. Oh, shoot. This looks a little big for this. It's big. It's too big. It's too big, bro. We got to go back under there. I know what bit that is. See this? It needs to be smaller. I show you this because it's partly my fault, mostly their fault. <laughs> Jonah, what'd you do with all my nice bits? See, I brought some brand new bits. I didn't touch them. And I hid them up here. Well, I didn't hide them very well. What, did you get one? Yeah. Oh, does it work? Oh, yeah. Let's be sure to put it back. Hey, Jonah, is it working? Yeah. Save the screws, okay? Go all the way across, thank you. Thank you, Jonah, for Venting, opening up our screws. Arun picking up the grass. The chickens will love it. Look, I'm gonna put the screws. We're getting organized. 1% every day, Arun. <laughs> Greenhouse gonna, screws. What are you gonna do with it? We're gonna put it on this shelf. And it's gonna stay there until oh, next spring when we need to shut that up. Watch this, guys. Mm -hmm. Roll it up, look at this. Everybody watching? Because if you, if you arch it up like that, the water won't run off of it either. It. Worked like a charm last year. Water ran off of it. Get your strawberry. Could have been a little redder. Like this one. Look at this. Right here, Gideon. Hold up. Eat that one. Ooh. 
Okay. Cut that bug off. Just cut that. Oh, yeah, they're ants getting it. They won't hurt you, though. Probably the best thing about that. A little animal there's protein an there. Yeah. There's an ant back there. I pulled that out. Go ahead. Oh, you don't trust me. Good. Come on. Is it good? No? We're setting this greenhouse up. It's ready. Hopefully tomorrow. We're going to plant. We're, we're not giving up on squash, watermelon, pumpkins. We're going to plant all that and beans. That's going to have to wait till tomorrow. I've got to work on Abundance Plus today, Mega. And we have a sheep mentor coming this afternoon to, to help us band Buddy. That's going to cut into the work day. So I'm going to hopefully get in there after chores and get some office work done. Come on, guys. You're strong, dude. Beautiful sight. Got the pigs eating. They're fat and happy. You guys fat and happy? When I found out you could start beans, it's so much easier, guys. We'll just take these, fill them up with potting soil, put beans in them, grow them in here, get them up to about four weeks old, then transplant them in the greenhouse, and then they're ahead of any weeds. Uh, you know which ones worked, which ones didn't. Like if you plant direct beans and they don't come up, well, they don't come up and there's nothing really you can do about it. But if you do starts, if we need 100, say, she wants 100 bean plants, let's plant 125. And then we're sure to get 100. Brace! Oh, 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 oh! You know, I see the sheep laying over there. And it just reminds me, you know, that goose, his lambs aren't much bigger than that goose. It must have been a coyote or something. Got that goose. And pretty aggressive to get it in just one night out. So it's just a good reminder that we gotta keep this fence hot. Or it could be one of these sheep next, and that would be way worse. Because we can just get a gosling in our next chick order. It's hard to get another sheep. Uh, milking both cows today. We are in the drying off process for Phyllis. We've skipped two days. Now we milk one more time and then it's over. Hey Jonah and Arun. We're also going to wean little, what's her name? <laughs> Maple. We'll wean Maple, okay? So she doesn't go in with mama. She's six, over six months old. And we'll just start getting all the milk from Flossie. Which is good timing because we'll be only milking one cow. The cows have been in the log cabin yard. Look at this line. That's crazy low. Dude, I could reach, I'm six foot and I could reach up and touch that electric line. We need to call them. But in the meantime, we have to go way down with the shed to get under it and then back up. Things like that always work better with a camera. Here we go. You want to take it or you want me to carry it? Go back home. All right, I'll carry it. I guess I, I, uh, guess I can. No, it's all right. I thought you said you wanted to carry it. Papa, I have space. <laughs> Sweet, that little voice. I'm so glad I document this. Papa, I have space. I can forever hear these little voices. Oh, thank you. I just got it. I'm, I'm, I'm practically there. What's going on in here? You got your little outfit on. You got your little dog bib? <laughs> dog bib. For your little drawing? Dog and raccoon. I know. I need to do something. Two different colors. <laughs> not necessarily not the, the cutest. It's but not he the just height of fashion. He just needed a bib. We are near the end of office hours. Going to improve the vlog. But I got to show you guys this. Abundance Plus, the website. Not the app yet, but the Abundance Plus website. We got rooted up top. We've got... Look, we gotta show you all this crazy content we've got. We're putting the vlog in there, like watch the vlog, ad free. And then, this is cool, so you come down here and we've put all our instructional videos in here too. Animals, and then it's categorized. Like you can click on chickens or pigs or cows or whatever. And look, like there's 70 videos in chickens. You can go down here to the documentaries. Wow. Doesn't this look like you're looking at Netflix or Discovery or something? You were just doing Discovery a little earlier. Doesn't, like, doesn't this look like it? it? 
right? So we're hoping, I'm working with Heather, my assistant on this, we're hoping to launch this website, the new website for our members. It's becoming, a, it was Abundant Permaculture, it's now Abundance Plus. Like, we keep having to move it back. We keep having some issues, but we're getting it all straightened out. It looks like it'll be, we'll pre-launch this, give some free content away middle, middle of June, and the last week of June, launching this website. So stay tuned for that, Abundance Plus. But Rebecca, doesn't that look like so much easier to navigate and look through? And eventually, when we have the apps, it'll be on y'all's TVs. Easy. What do you think, Henry? You won't know nothing but that. You won't know nothing but that. <laughs> Is that good news to you? If that's good news. Oh, Ooh, that was a, a good bird. Bird. Ooh, yeah. Okay, Claire's gonna be here in about 40 minutes, Rebecca. Uh, I'm glad she's a little late, 30 minutes late. I'm glad because we're not quite ready. So, I can't, he just keeps smiling at me. I'm a sucker for that baby smile. <laughs> so we're gonna uh, go ahead and prove the vlog back and then she gets here, we'll band Buddy. I feel like a million bucks today. That nap yesterday, slept good today, woke up ready to go at 5.30, just rested in the bed a little bit, got up at six. So I crashed, I had my, what's the matter? What's the matter? Becky, I forget, I forget the line crash. Happens long enough away from each other yeah. that I forget and I just need to sail through it. Just, just rest. Be okay with it. Yeah. I mean, just know that this is part of, of, of it for you. Yeah, for sure. Just did hear back from Brandon. Farmstead Meat Smith is coming to the farm. We're butchering a steer and two sheep next week. He's coming to the farm. This is like a master butcher. How do I make this announcement exciting? Well, hey, Dan, the editor, Dan, put in some footage that you have of you and Brandon, maybe. Would you do that for me, favor? My guiding principle, I guess, when I break it down is I don't want to create any trim. Mm -hmm. um, the standard way to butcher an animal is to fetishize a certain muscle. So just tender and lean, usually the loins, right? And then the rest of the carcass is kind of trim. And that's unfortunate. And I think that it's largely due to our really impoverished culinary vocabulary. We don't know how to cook stuff anymore. The most pertinent question to butchery is not where to cut, but how do I know what to braise, pan fry, and roast? And when you think of a quadruped physiology of the shape of a four-legged beast, you can deduce it just by thinking of how their body works, right? Yeah, that guy, he's coming. Why? Well, we're filming another episode of Rooted. We're harvesting these animals. Rooted will go into Abundance Plus, but we're also, I have this new idea. Every time we film a Rooted episode, why not do also a lesson? Like, we got the nice cameras there. Let's film. Let's get also a step-by-step -step on how to harvest a beef, and then a step-by-step -step on how to harvest a lamb. That's what we'll be doing, and that'll be going into Abundance Plus. Man, we're just stacking this up, full of content. I cannot wait. It looks like Claire is here. Let's get to banding. All right, well, we're out in the field. We I've got, bu I've we got Buddy. Right. Claire is here. So she was telling me we don't want to get right up against this body. It's a vascular right. pinch. We want to get in between. You, you almost see, so see body the teats are right the there. You we do, don't want to get the teats. They're not as far away as you think. Yeah. But you see there's almost like a perfect spot right there. Okay. Isn't he going to kick? And <laughs> imagine it's it's tense. Okay. I imagine it's tense. And a little hurtful. Now he may struggle because what's going to happen is I'm going to have to put them in one at a time. But once it's on, does it keep struggling? No, he's he he's may not stop. Gonna hurt he's anymore. he's going to be like, "What is going on?" Because it's going to be like yeah. when your foot falls asleep. Yeah. Okay. It's going to go All through right. those stages, except it's not going to come back to life. We'll Just get them both one in. down in it now. Yeah. Actually, I did. Wow. Now make sure you don't get I the I am going to make sure. Yeah. Just got one down now. We got just below the teats. I did have to push them out, but if they were caught in there now, we could totally undo it. So does that look good, or does it look like it could be closer down to the balls? Looks perfect. Okay. That was my first time banding. I've clipped before, not sheep, but cows, so I feel good. Another homestead, important homestead skill. 
under the belt. If that's something that you guys are interested in doing yourself, also recorded a little bit of video with her doing it. I'm putting that in Abundance Plus. By the way, she's an Abundance Plus member. So you'll want to check that out. Like I said earlier, we're going to be launching the summer registration. Uh, what I say? The end of June? End of June-ish? YouTube kind of limits our farm graphics that, that we can show. That's another cool thing about Abundance Plus. It's our own platform. No censorship. Uh, we can put stuff like that in it. Good educational stuff that's very important and I look forward to delivering you delivering it to you guys in that special way for those of you who are wanting to go beyond entertainment and wanting to actually learn how to do it that should help